Welcome back. Well, when dealing with any heart-related issues, especially AFib, early detection is imperative. Here to talk more about a new tool cardiologists are using is Susan Reyes. She's the territory manager of the product we're about to talk about. Susan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for having me this morning. So a lot of times it's February Heart Health Month. We hear AFib, AFib, AFib. What is AFib? So atrial fibrillation, it's the upper chamber that's going too rapidly for the normal heart rate. So we have an exciting new product right here. It's called the ZOXT, and it's heart rate monitoring. Why is it so important that we monitor our hearts? Right. So right now, atrial fibrillation is one of the leading causes of stroke. Okay. As you know, stroke is a very deadly and costly disease to the patients and population in healthcare right now. For instance, one undiagnosed patient of AFib is a higher risk than a patient that doesn't have AFib of getting stroke. Wow. Okay. Of having a stroke. Now, this is a new monitor. A, a lot of people at home are looking at it right now on the screen as well with the picture. They're like, wow, that's really small. It doesn't have any electrodes attached to it. Kind of explain what is the ZOXT. So, the ZOXT is a extended wear monitor. It lasts up to 14 days. Everything is in this little patch that you see right here. Patient can shower, exercise, do all their normal activities that they would normally do as they had done before. Just not wired up and having a little box like they used to wear in the previous monitors. And what's amazing about the previous monitors used to mo only go to 48 hours. This is 14 days, which is incredible. Why is that so important? So we have learned through studies and peer-to-peer -peer publications that right now these monitors are providing more information post 48 hours all the way up to 14 days. The more information you have on a B2B -B continuous basis, the higher diagnostic yield for the physician to determine what to do with this patient, whether it's medical management, a procedure, some kind of other study that he may need to get. We're not finding that in less than 48 hours anymore as we used to. And what's exciting is this is actually sort of a new monitor, but it's really new to Louisiana. Describe that. Correct. So we've been um, FDA approved now for six years, mm -hmm. but in the actual state of Louisiana, we're just starting to see more payers, insurance, paying okay. for this. Medicare has traditionally paid for this, but now we have a plethora of insurance companies paying for this. And mostly, you know, public hospitals are allowing this, but now you're saying that it's moving its way into the private sector as well. Right. It's been here in Shreveport, the VA and University. It's now moving to the private sector at WK Piermont Cardiology. They're the first to use this in the area. They started patching patients last week. The patients have been raving about the differences they've had in monitors before using this today. Okay. Well, see, this is some exciting new technologies that's hitting, you know, to the medical world right now. We're going to get more details about this. We're also going to have those details on our website after this show, so check it out there. Susan, thank you so much thank for you joining so much. me. And we want you to stick around because up next, meteorologist Patrick Dennis has a full check of your forecast.